okay guys welcome to my youtube channel this is still your girl cherry and if this is your first time on my youtube channel welcome you don't try so you don't find me for youtube oh shay chop knuckle invisible knuckle okay so in this video pastor chris Oyakilome replies tb joshua and freeze on the tight remember that this tight thing is like the trending that everybody is talking everybody there are three groups of uh, people in the congregation now first the self first set of people they are like where in the bible did um, the bible say that we should bring our tithe to church only the second group of people are like confused okay what is that the freeze saying what is the church saying the third group of people are like fire burn that the freeze fire burn all of you they are playing with god they are playing with god's anointed so there are three groups tell me which group you are in the comment section so i'm going to play this video and watch with me me i'm not on any side i'm just saying what is the way forward for our country for our religion for our belief so tell me what you, where you belong in the comment section i remember it doesn't take anything to click the like button just click the like button it's a thumbs up like a facebook thumbs up um icon just under this video just click it bam finish oh shay let's now watch the video Pastor Chris' understanding of tithing and TV Joshua's understanding of tithing. Pastor Chris said that you can never ever negotiate your tithes, that you must always bring your tithe to his church. And even if somebody is dying, even if somebody has need, your parents, your uncle, your, your siblings, anybody that has need, you cannot use your tithes to help them, that you must give it to God. And he said, because God is not here, his church is the one that is in place to collect your tithes. That is his message. But, T.P. Joshua said, take your tithes and help anybody around you. That is, that is when you are helping God. If you want to give to God, you give to anybody around you. And T.P. Joshua said that, if you bring your tithes to his church, that you are tempting him and his church, that you are tempting him so that he may not be able to um, remit or help the poor with all the money that you bring as tithe. So if everybody gets out tithe and brings to his church, he's saying that, that um, it's a, it might be a sin to him if he doesn't remit all. And there is that temptation not to remit all, so that you should take your tithe and help people around you, people in your streets, your neighbors, everyone. So I'll play the two videos for you, and you'll judge which... Who is who? Who is preaching the right message? Because obviously these two messages are in direct contradiction. And we want to know which message is uh, the right one according to you from your own understanding of the scriptures I'm giving. Because me personally, I know that there's a place in the Bible Jesus said that he will reject some people on the last day because they'll call him Lord, Lord. And you tell them, go away, I don't know you. And they'll say, why, what did you do? You will not tell them that. The time I was sick, he did not clothe me. The time I was uh, naked, he did not clothe me. The time I was sick, he did not um, support me, all those stuff. So, Jesus now said that whatsoever you do to the least of your brothers, that you do unto me, that you should help people around you, that is when you're helping me. That's what Jesus said. So, that influenced my bias towards uh, T.B. Joshua's message. So, I kind of um, agree more with what T.B. Joshua said than what um, Pastor Chris is saying. And there are so many pastors, T.B. Joshua is the only person I've heard that said that you should take your tithe and help people around you. I've never heard any other pastor say it. So if you've heard any other pastor say it, please put the link in the comments. Alright? I want to I want to watch it too. Uh, it's very important. So, uh, but Pastor Chris is preaching the message that many other pastors are preaching. That you should never take your tithe anywhere. You should bring it to his church. You know what happens when um, uh, you take your time somewhere else? That money, the church doesn't get it. You get what I'm saying? So if, if a pastor can stand on the stage and say, don't bring money to me, go and give it to your, your, go and use it to help other people. Do you know how many millions that pastor will lose that month and, and the months following that uh, suit? Because the million, the thousands, hundreds of some, some churches do five services. Five thousand seater churches do five services. That's about 25,000 people per, per, per day, per Sunday. Then you, you multiply that 25,000, the tithe of that 25,000 people. 
Let's see, let's even say it's only 5,000 after that is five that pay tight. You know how many millions it is. So for a pastor to say, don't bring your tithe to me, go and use it to help the poor. The pastor is contributing to the society. That's my own understanding of it. If you have a different understanding, let me hear. And also, if this is the first time you're watching any of my videos and you've not subscribed to my channel up to this point, yeah. So this is what you'll do right now. There's a red subscribe button at the bottom of this video. Click it once. If you have not subscribed before, then there's a like button. There's a like button below this video. It looks like a thumbs up. Click that thumbs up again once and you're good to go anytime I make a video, especially a follow up. This is a follow up on a previous video. Um, so I, when, once I make the follow up, um, I'll let you know, all right? So let me play what Pastor Chris says, then I'll go and play what TV Joshua says. So you make your own uh, uh, judgment. I want to hear what you think, all right? presence of God brings you the revelations of God that prospers you. So the necessary uh, response to that is that where God teaches you His Word, where God not you, is where you send your tithes. Well, wait, wait, I want to pause this here because I want you to let you know that there is no place in the Bible where it is written that you must take your, church, your tithes to um, that particular church that is teaching you. There is no place it is written that there is a specific church that has to take your tithe to. Alright? So let's continue. Now, if you don't give the tithe, God says, because it belongs to Him, you see, you don't negotiate your tithe. You don't decide what you're going to do with your tithe. You don't choose who you give the tithe to. You know, there is no place in the Bible where it is said that you don't you negotiate your tithe. tithe belongs to us. There is no place where God threatened um, that He's going to do anything to you if you don't belong, the, if you don't uh, re bring the tithe to Him. There is no place, and even this tithe is an Old Testament thing. So there is no place it's written that God will punish you or curse you. So just, I want you to observe how the message is craftily going. So I just rewinded it. A okay, guys. So uh, I am sure you are following the. Um commentator in this video and I, I really don't have to say so much but if you read your bible very much which is what the pastor free or rather <laughs> daddy freeze is asking every christian to do to read your bible um, um and know what god is saying god has said in his words that everyone is connected i live in your hearts so i can interpret the bible for you with the help of a pastor so boy first you have to read the bible you have to know what is inside the bible so that some pastor from somewhere doesn't come and and, and bamboozle you with something that's not inside the bible um this issue of tight have raised a, a, a lot of eyebrows from church going christians and even uh, non-christians and it is so it is so debatable that people are beginning to see or people are beginning to say that their eyes are open because they just got to read the bible for the first time i mean like search the bible for tight stuff for the first time so tell me in the comment section what is your own opinion about this whole thing it, it, it is it is is becoming a a a what will i call it now a raw, some sort of uproar in the Christian community about tight paying and tight giving. And we know that tight is just one of the ways that these pastors make money. Some of them sell anointing oil, um, anointing water. They actually sell it for like 5,000, 10,000, a lot of money. I mean, something that as small as 5 CL, um, they sell it up to 5,000 Naira. And uh, the cost of production may not even be up to 200 Naira for one. So tell me, what, what, what is your own opinion about this whole Titan thing, this whole um, pastors being way more richer than the entire congregation, and telling you that you, don't, you must bring your tithe to God, that is to church, and don't give it to the poor or whoever, whenever they need it, you don't decide what you do with your tithe, you must bring it to God. So tell me in the comment section, and please like this video, click the like button, if you have not liked it at this time, ah, but now how far? How far now? Just like the video. <laughs> okay, let's keep watching. Little. He will take what he chooses. And that can be a problem. Which means not out of a blessing. You're going to lose something. You see that? You have been brought into a special partnership. 
a divine partnership. And in that partnership, he has his parts. And you have your part for every blessing that he brings to you. You acknowledge his hand in your life by giving him his tithe. He says, one tenth of it belongs to me in the partnership. So you give it to him. 